Pete Buttigieg's remarks stir up a whirlwind of political manipulation and instigation. Crime reporting and immigration issues are hotly debated topics, demanding transparency and effective policies. The deep-seated anxiety and fear are amplified by conflicting narratives and media portrayals of these issues. Support. This is how it Washington was Post, what this is how they describe the border situation. Illegal border crossing soared in the months after Biden took office and immediately rolled back many Trump era restrictions. They go on to say the number of people taken into custody by the U.S. Border Patrol has reached the highest levels in the agency's 100 year history under Biden, averaging two million per year. And there's a lot of that attributed to the fact that there were dozens of things done under the Trump administration that this administration rolled back. And Vice President Harris is part of this administration and had a leading role, according to mainstream media on handling the border. Let's get real. Border crossings are down in the wake of President Biden's executive actions that he took after Congress failed so to So he act. could have taken action. He wanted Congress to resolve that because that would have been more durable. But when Trump came in, talked Republicans out of their own bipartisan project because he didn't want the issue to get better. Remember, the worse things are at the border, the better things get for Donald Trump. So he has a vested interest in it remaining chaotic down there. I think this also helps to explain why he didn't exactly conclusively solve it when it was his turn. But I saw something else really important happening at the Republican National Convention on the border and, and the talk about immigration, which we all recognize as a problem, mm -hmm. which is they tried to paint this narrative that if you live somewhere far from the border and immigration hasn't affected you personally, you need to think that immigration is a driver of crime. That, that was the real message. Immigration leads to crime. Well, there are blue state and governors and, and mayors who say every state is a border state now. That's Democrats. Yeah, state. and now they're saying, but what, the false message of the RNC was that this is leading to an increase in crime. Well, and I think it's really important that we that talk have, about have crime. have been very high profile about course, people. Of if course, they, had of they course not there are individual cases, illegally, but this, this is my people point, would still right? be alive. Trying to make people think that crime is up when crime is down under Joe Biden, and crime was up under Donald Trump. Now, I don't know how often that gets reported on this network. So if you're watching this at home, do yourself a favor and look up the data. Well, we invite that. that. Uh, great. So if you look this up at home, you will know that crime went down under Biden and crime went up Certain under Trump. Categories. And I think the violent crime, for sure. So I think the really important thing to ask is, why would America want to go back to the higher crime that we experienced under Donald Trump. Okay, but they also may want to ask why they'd want to go to millions fewer people coming illegal across the border and every single person who's here and was involved with a crime, that's a life that didn't have to be lost. And I think that's the argument being made. Buttigieg's assertions about the crime rates under Joe Biden and Donald Trump are seen as misleading, if not outright false. He highlights the issue of underreporting, claiming that crime statistics appear low because many cities fail to report their data. This manipulation of data to fit political agendas intensifies the belief that the current administration lacks transparency and trustworthiness. Critics argue that the surge in illegal border crossings and the subsequent rise in crime are direct consequences of Joe Biden's actions, pointing to the adverse effects of dismantling Donald Trump's border policies. This political maneuvering and the public statements it generates deepen the crisis of authenticity and responsibility. With inconsistencies in crime reporting and differing political interpretations of immigration issues, citizens are left sifting through misinformation to make informed decisions. They must confront uncomfortable truths and take ownership of their actions and beliefs. The current political climate encourages individuals to critically evaluate the information presented to them and seek genuine understanding amidst a sea of conflicting narratives. The discourse on crime and immigration fuels public fear and anxiety. When politicians present contradictory information, it can lead to cognitive dissonance, making it challenging for people to reconcile different viewpoints. This dissonance often manifests as increased stress and anxiety. While some may sympathize with those who prioritize the rise in crime and the visible impact of border issues on safety and order. Others seek authenticity and responsibility in addressing these social problems. Public reactions to Buttigieg's remarks and the subsequent conservative backlash are likely to be polarized. Supporters of the Joe Biden administration may accept Buttigieg's claims at face value, trusting the administration's narrative. In contrast, those seeking truth and reality may see his statements as further evidence of political manipulation and dishonesty. This polarization reflects America's deep cultural and ideological divide, where facts and data are interpreted through partisan lenses.